Uh, all right, everybody. So, wait, actually. Right, I forgot completely to insert the game disc into the PS5 before start before hitting recording. I am a very, very professional at this. In case you couldn't tell, guys. Um, okay, so... We got the New Game Plus update. I put out a video several days prior to recording this one. And when you guys will see it. Um, of uh, my main wish for the New Game Plus update. Uh, I don't think that they put in what I wanted, but grant and granted, or but I've also been like very hardcore, um, like we're not hardcore, but like every so often I'll say something either in the Insomniac Discord server or reply to either Insomniac themselves or one of the people that works there, suggesting what I wanted for that or for the New Game Plus update. So, you never know in regards to, um, these things. So, yeah. New features available. New Game Plus is here. After completing the main storyline, your save is eligible to create a New Game Plus slot. Keep your hero upgrades and resources, but allow, or, but experience all new. Ultimate levels. Level up to gain new suit styles. Get golden gadgets. Upgrade your gadgets with exclusive looks. Suit Tech Fusion. Boost your Suit Tech performance. Still finishing your main game, Mission Replay, and Time of Day are now available upon main story completion. So let's just go into this. One thing I wish that they would, that they had was, um, was, uh, that um so yeah so i'm gonna head to avengers tower to check out what is new in regards to the features so let's see So, in addition to the features, there are also new suits. There are about four. Uh, two of them are free. Then this update, the, uh... What do you call them? Uh, I forget what they're called. But they're from the comics. And then two that I think were designed by... Uh, people from a... I think it's a foundation. Uh, I forget what the fuck the foundation is called. But, it's part of a suit pack of two suits. And yeah. Oh, there's five. In total? So, okay. So, uh... We have the fly suit for Peter. And the Hellfire Gala 2022 Peter Parker suit. I feel like suit should be in an update moved to after Peter Parker. But yeah, let's take a look at it. I'm trying to remember what the quicks, what the quick access is for photo mode, but it's going to manual. So I'll probably do another video talking about these more in full. Ooh. I kind of like a lot of the small details. These I believe are from, this I believe is from the comics. This actually looks pretty cool. Honestly. I like it. Oh, that's interesting with the gloves. I'm kind of surprised this doesn't have alternate suit styles. Um... And I know there's like, uh, I know there's other shit that's part of the update for photo mode. I'll check those out in a second. 
Uh, so let's see. So those and new game plus you can all there are alternate suit styles for the symbiote suits from what they have said. Uh, let's just put Peter in this because I want to start the new game plus save with that. Um, then Miles he has a couple new suits. Uh, the fresh suit. This look, this looks Fresh Prince of Bel Air inspired. I'm not gonna lie. Like both of these suits are like very, very early '90s inspired. Very Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I feel like, and this one definitely, with all the different neon and shit. Like yeah, like late '80s, early '90s. And then, Hellfire Gala 2023 suit, Miles Brown. So. Hell Gala 2023 Miles Morales suit. This actually looks kind of cool. I actually kind of like this. Um, for the most part. So, I don't like the hair. The hair doesn't look great. I, I don't like this look. I don't like the, the hair for Miles because it's the same hair as here. Just like change up the way the hair looks a bit. Everything else, though, I actually kind of like the top, uh, the top that looks like just a regular suit blazer. That looks kind of cool. It matches the boots in terms of most of the color. Uh, the regular, like, sweatpants, it looks like. Or maybe not sweatpants, but whatever they are. Exercise pants, whatever. Um, his mask, uh... It, it matches the regular sort of thing for Miles' mask, but it's in purple to match the rest of the suit. You got the bow tie. You got the, the, the shirt. Um, that honestly looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, right. They said that there was updated suit textures for... The webbed suit. Um, yeah. Updated web suit texture. So I think that's what the three is representing. Okay, so that's cool. Um, okay. Did they fix the eyes on this iron spider? No, they did not. That is really weird. Otherwise, I think the suit is perfect that they pulled from the first game. But for some reason, they didn't fix the eyes. The eyes still look like the 90s Spider-Man shows suit. Okay, so... Oh, uh, we've seen this. Uh, let me take a look, a more detailed look at Peter's uh, other suits. So, the Hellfire Gala suit. Um, honestly, I like it, for the most part. I like it. Um, let me get a more detailed look. I'll do a video on it where I really go over it. And then the fly suit, again, this looks very late 80s, early 90s inspired, like early, late 80s, early 90s, like hip hop inspired, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air style. You got the, the Walkman too, that's actually really cool, and the uh, older, like, more portable and more lightweight uh, <coughs> headphones, which look really cool. So, yeah. Um, I really don't know why it's still saying three. Apparently there's also a glitch that you can access, like, I think a debug menu. I don't know how, but you can. And I don't know why that was left in, but you can. So, yeah. Um... Let's see. I'm just quickly cycling through all of the suits just to make sure I look at them all for more than a second. Just make sure there's no stone left unturned.
But yeah, you can't unlock the extra suit styles for the symbiote suits. Unless you do New Game Plus. So, that might be what that is. But yeah. So, new access, new inaccessibility. So this should be in the settings. Audio descriptions. A narrator will describe key visuals and actions during cinematics. Sub-option volume slider. Um, so, where are these? Um, I think this is it. Narrated ASL. Oh, wait. Okay. I should turn that on. Um, so, audio descriptions. Okay. That, okay, that's that. Uh, screen reader. That's this. Mono audio. There we go. I guess if you don't have a stereo setup, that's, that's what helps with that. Captions. Display captions for important in-game sounds during cinematics and some gameplay. Uh, okay, that's that. Sub-options. Size, color, background color, and no, background opacity. I think I need this. Whatever. I'll see how it does. In-world translations. Enable text boxes to show translated in-world text. <coughs> Other languages, because I don't think I need... Uh, okay. This, I think I should change to red. High contrast outlines. Okay. I don't care. But if you care, that's fine. Uh, high contrast presets. So I'm just assuming that it added some stuff. Access high as, or preset highest, uh, high contrast setting for streamlined use or use. Okay. Aim arc color. Adjust the arc, or the color of the arc that displays during certain moments when aiming. Uh, wherever that is, I'm sure you guys can find it if you want that. Uh, motions, or tar target arc color. Okay, that's basically the same. Uh, motion sensor aiming. Aim using the dual sense controller's motion sensors. Where's that? Is that in controls? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm fine with that. I'm fine not using that. Uh, sub options include calibration sensitivity. UI holds, switch UI holds to toggle. I don't know, but okay. Touchpad in combat. Dispa disable the touchpad during combat to prevent accidental presses. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Um, <clears throat> all right, improvements slash fixes. General improvements to game stability. Uh, addressed global crashing and freezing issues that may occur during cutscenes and our gameplay. 
addressed global visual issues that may occur during cutscenes and or gameplay, uh, addressed issues where hiding UHD or HUD, HUD would prevent the next mission from spawning, addressed issues where players wouldn't be able to progress certain tutorials or sections, addressed an issue where web wings would automatically deploy if tutorials are set to off, addressed an issue where trick animations would reset during dives, addressed issues relating to incorrect player spawns after failing or restarting checkpoint, updated web suit textures, that's this, which is good. Let me just... There we go. Uh, so a problem that was with this suit is that under the webs, under the raised webbing, <clears throat> there would be uh, lines under the webs that were the same color as the webs but were printed on lines or at least looked like it rather than the raised webbing. This is a holdover from, or that was a holdover from um, from when uh, the game, from when this suit was ported over from the first game. Um, and it was a genuine problem. I didn't notice it a lot because I didn't play in the web suit during my initial playthrough, but I've seen screenshots and yeah, that was bad and I'm glad that they addressed it. I am very glad that they addressed it. I think the only real suit that they need to address now is the, uh, these, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The Iron Spider suit. Let me, uh, let me get a, Let me get... Let me get a, uh... Let me get a... Oh, yeah, those eyes are really bad. Oh, my God, and the... The black right there is bleeding into the lens. Look at that on both of them but it's more no it's more readily noticeable on the left eye when you're looking at it cuz that one's not as bad still bad though how do you screw this up how do you how do you screw this up cuz here's the thing and i pointed this out in the uh video look at the look at the uh look at the profile pic for it um it's right, mainly because it's ported from the first game, but it's it's right like it should be. <clears throat> like, mainly because most of the returning suits, the, the profile picks are ported from the first game's, like, data, but... and assets, but... It's like, really? So yeah, let's, uh, let's change back to that. I'm going to use a Miles Morales 2020 suit for the first New Game Plus playthrough because it's my favorite uh, Miles Morales suit just in these games. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. An issue address where trick animations for reset. Okay. I lost where I was with the list here. Address clipping and artifact issues with some suit lenses. That's good. Uh... I know that the anti-ox suit was a major, or was one of the few, like, suits that I've seen people, like, complain about in regards to the lenses. Yeah, those look fixed. Uh, let's see. Alright, good. It defaults him to this pose. That's good. Let's see. Uh, I need to address that white, or the yellow specks right there, but, I don't know, I'd rather have that than the black bleeding into the rest of the lenses. Ooh. Okay. So that's good that they addressed that. Um, improved deformation across several suits. I don't know what suits those are, so that's at least good. 
various additional fixes across the game, so that's just a general thing. Accessibility. Made several improvements and fixes to high contrast settings, addressed visibility issues across several enemy types, attacks, puzzles, and interactable objects. Added pause menu. Option to skip advanced trigger minigame, or adaptive trigger minigames. Joining previously included features such as turning off adaptive triggers, adaptive triggers via PS5 control settings to automatically skip these puzzles. <coughs> QTE autocomplete can automatically skip these puzzles. Made improvements and fixes to toggles. Enabling swinging slash parkour toggle adds tap on slash off functionality to the wait for spider bot jump jets. Um I don't know what the fuck that means. Um Oh, does that mean for the, the side quest where you get all the spider bots? Okay. I think that's what that means. Enabling swinging slash par swing slash parkour toggle adds functionality for MJ to navigate squeeze throughs automatically. That's good. That's good. Toggle icons display properly when restarting the game. Addressed an issue where tutorials would interfere with swing slash parkour toggle functionality. Addressed an issue where swing slash parkour wouldn't enable fast enough when sprinting as MJ. That's good. Addressed issues with aim mode toggle with MJ's lore. That's cool. Addressed issues with friendly neighborhood challenge level. Symbiote nests and tanker crimes can no longer be failed. Okay, so I think that that's the, uh, that's the lowest difficulty, right? I think that that's what that is. Made several improvements to look at waypoint across several missions in the game. Good. Added point of interest audio indicator. This feature emits audio feedback tick ticking when spider senses are used, and there is a point of interest on the screen to aid in judging distance, height, and occlusion. Made several improvements in DualSense haptics, and the haptics setting is set to functional, and the POI audio indicator is enabled. The system includes an additional haptic component for the waypoints. Added distinct haptics for abilities and gadgets ready with functional haptics turned on. Added hot slash cold haptics when doing object navigations with functional haptics turned on. Added haptic feedback when interact prompts is on screen. Adjusted haptics across different puzzles and combat scenarios in the game. Toned down damage received haptic a, haptic a bit. Selected shortcuts now display in the first boot menu. Added the ability to enable screen reader in the first boot menu via square button press. Fixed resolution and other oddities when setting button prompt size to largest. If enabled, auto heal can save player from fall damage death if the player has a focus bar. All right. Okay, so I completely misremembered the um, the update number. So here's the stupid thing on Twitter. They said that um, once you download the New Game Plus update, there's another thing to download right after it. I think they just rolled that into one update because I didn't have anything else to download after I downloaded the New Game Plus update. So yeah, we got some general additions and everything and that's really cool now mission replay um is that just in new game plus let me uh let me see uh let's go to insomniac games it's twitter i will This is fucking funny. Okay. We are aware the latest game update may have inadvertently allowed access to a development game menu. There's a hot fix on the way. Please note that using this menu could corrupt your saves and trophy progress. There is no risk uh, associated with, with playing the game as intended. 
All right. So note there's a second update immediately following the first one. Be sure to download both to get access to our complete list of features. If you're not seeing it, close the game. Um, the latest version is 1.002.00. Um, so just to show that. So, okay, it's not showing it there, but I believe it did say the correct number, so. Uh, mission Replay, how do you access Mission Replay? Is that a New Game Plus? Okay, so let's see. Uh, so you just press square to replay it, that's nice. So, uh, show me New York. So not that for some reason. Okay. I actually didn't know this feature was in Miles Morales, but it's good that it's here. I wish this would be backported into the first game, because... Uh, I would actually like to replay some of the sequences with the different suits and not have to start over from the beginning of the game to do so each time. I don't. They could easily add it to the at least the remaster of the first game, so I don't understand why not. So that's one already that you can easily replay from the main missions. Side story. Mysterio. Okay, so both. And his Uncle Aaron shit. Uh, okay, these are good to replay, because these can be done with either Spider-Man, because they had Yuri Lowenthal and Najee Jeter uh, record the dialogue. I think in some places they have different dialogue, because they're different characters, but in most places they just recorded the same script, with the actors giving their personal performances. There are some of these that I personally think are do are best done with the the other Spider-Man, um, as opposed to like, let's say, Fine Grandpa. That could probably be done with either uh, rooftop fireworks, either uh, photo help. Uh, this should be done with Peter Howard. This should be done with Peter, because I think Peter has a more readily um, understood connection with Howard from the first game. Miles did connect with Howard a bit in his game, but I don't think as much with Peter. Um, or as much as Peter did. Graffiti Trouble could be either, honestly. Monster and Queens. This could be done with either, but probably better with Miles. Prowler stashes. These are obviously with Miles. The Flame. These are obviously with Peter. I don't think you can do it with either of them. EMF experiments. I think those can be done with either. Cultural Museum. This is with Miles, I believe, right? I'm just checking. Yep. Because these are side quests. Makes sense that you can do them with either. Uh, Hunter Blinds. You cannot replay these. That sucks, but okay. Hunter bases, you can do you can replay these, and I think these are done with Peter. Right? Or is it either? No no, I think these are done with Miles now that I think about it. Brooklyn Visions, these are done with Miles. Unidentified targets, I think you can do either with these. Symbiote nests, you can do these with either Spider Man, I believe. Um but yeah. Cause you can do them in post game, so I imagine that that's the thing. Okay, so... Right, right, you should be able to change what color symbiote tendrils. Where the fuck is that? That is what I want to know. Where is where are where's the ability to change the symbiotendral color? Let's see if your raptor made a video on it, because your raptor is pretty up to date with this shit. Uh, 
how to change symbiote color Spider-Man 2. Um, so let's look how to change the tendril color. Oh wow, this person must have already played through the game. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, so this is good. So it's in settings, gameplay, I believe. Yeah, gameplay settings. Uh, tendril color. Story, white, black. Nice! So, let's see this. Uh, that's good. That is good. That is good. I like that. And that, that actually perfectly, like, shows what you can do uh, with this game. So this actually is with, um, that actually illustrates my point perfectly. You go into the gameplay settings, literally, if, um, I don't know why this is under swing assist, but literally if you have under tendril color, or maybe right above it, um, like set right here in between this or under tendril color uh spider-man suit and then you can set whatever regular spider-man suit and then um for underneath that put either black or symbiote suit and you can choose whatever symbiote suit you want when doing a new game plus playthrough when starting a new game plus what it defaults you to time of day Ooh. That's where that is. Nice, and due to the, uh, the, uh, SSD. Oh, man. Is there no straight? No, there is night. Holy shit, nice. Bro. Oh, my God. Oh, an Oscorp Tower is not that far from Avengers Tower. Interesting. If they incorporate Oscorp Tower in uh, the MCU, I expect something similar to happen. That is really cool. I love that. It's in it's in real time now. Because I believe time of day changing was in the base game of the first game. Um, what you had to do was go to one of the uh, science stations Harry had set up. And change it there with the, uh, I think, the tablet that's on the, uh, the desk. This is fucking cool. So let's see. Nice. I love that. That is so good that it happens in real time now. Although, I wish you could hide... I wish that you could turn the HUD transparent for the pause menu so you could see it happen in, in real time under, you know. So in set. That looks fucking cool. I love that. That is awesome. Dusk. Nice. That looks awesome. I love that. I love that so much. Overcast. I kind of wish you could turn it back into Symbiote City, but I understand why not. Maybe it would uh, take too many resources or something like that with the PS5 to have it automatically do that. Um, but yeah. What the fuck is with the... Uh, are those in the out-of-bounds area? Yeah. 
that's in the out of bounds area. But look at the ground. It's white. Like, Jesus Christ. But that, that is good. That is good. Alright, so... Uh, let's set the tendril color back to story. Set that back to default. That's nice. Okay, so checked out all of the uh, features that you can check out in post-game. Not a new game plus save. So guys, um, let me make a manual save. So that it saves me being in the, uh, the web suit. And yeah, so guys, what's going to happen? There were, right, there were additional things in the photo mode. Uh, I can't, I think that that's a new pose. I think they added some new poses. I think that's new. That's not. Although, actually, no, the first bunch of these might just be the poses that they included. Okay. I think that that's a new pose. I think that's a new one. Um, don't know. Okay, so up until I think 16. Those, no, here. That was in the game. That was in the game already. So I think up until here are the poses that were already in the game. That I think is new. That looks awesome. Ah, oh, nice. Actually. I love that. That's nice. And then, so we only got two additional poses for Peter. that are literally just mirrors of other poses. From what it looks like. Uh, action figure mode. Oh! Right, I forgot that that was a new feature as well. Alright, so, yeah, and there's some extra stickers, I think some filters and whatever. So yeah, so, guys, that is basically it for going over this. So, if I can say something to Insomniac, uh, for either another update or whenever you guys do DLC for this game, because we do know that you're doing DLC for this game, uh, add in the gameplay settings under Tendril Color or in between Fall Damage and Tendril Color, wherever you want to put it. Uh, put Regular Suit and Symbiote Suit, and then have the uh, the slider for what you pick. Um, so, yeah. Um, that would be great. That's what I want. Because, like, that's a proof of concept right there that they can do this. Like, with all these sliders and everything. That's just proof that they know how to do these things, and they can do them. So, yeah. Please do that, Insomniac. I would love if you would do that, so it could default the suits to each one for the cutscenes where it switches between the two. That's what I want. Um, but thanks, Insomniac, for fixing up a bunch of things, for adding the new features and everything. Uh, otherwise, I only have, like, I literally only have, like, one feature that I want. Um, for a potential new or a potential future update. And here's the, here's also the thing. People are just like, oh, you're not being grateful. I'm being grateful. I'm just making a suggestion, um, and a suggestion that they can that they have proven that they can do. Um, because literally, um, what happened in regards to uh, the original version of the first game on PS4 and then the remaster is this. 
So for the first game, when New Game Plus was added, you couldn't New Game Plus from a New Game Plus save. I don't know why, but you couldn't. They later updated it weeks later so that you could. Uh, it was a baffling decision, but they rectified it, so that's good. Uh, the remaster of the first game, I'm trying to think of what I was about, or what, I'm, what I was thinking about. Um, oh yeah, the remaster of the first game, you couldn't, at launch of that version of the game, uh, port over your save data from the first game. Um, but, weeks after it was released... I believe, yeah, or maybe it was day, like days. That's like very quickly after it was released. I remember you. They added the ability to port over your save data from the PS4 version of the first game from the cloud. So they can add these features. They just need to know that we want them, and they need to know that like. Um, they need, to, they need to be able to figure it out how to incorporate them if they can do them. And that is how you incorporate, I think, the feature that I personally want. Um, is you literally just put it in the game place section under tendril color. Or maybe above it, something like that. Probably under would be the best, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, it just proves my point. So, guys, um, let's make some crime real quick just to end this on something exciting. Actually, let me... You crashing my fight or am I crashing? Hold on. Uh... Yours. Big boy coming in with friends. Love it. Very much love it. Kill the spider first. Beast can wait. Oh, you guys just stuck right up, huh? <laughs> Super cool. Big stars, old wolf. Nice. Oh, that's a nice finisher. Man, I thought I was gonna get that last hit in. Ah, hubris. It defeats us all. Love that. Love that. Alright, that's cool. Love that. Back to Avengers Tower. Oh yeah, and Insomniac, uh, if you guys are listening to suggestions, please put the, I think it's the all-new black suit or whatever it's called from the 2012 Amazing Spider-Man game in this game. It's literally just a black, gray, and silver recolor of, uh, of the 2012 Amazing Spider-Man suit. You guys have that in the game? It's literally just a palette swap. All you have to do is adjust the colors. It probably wouldn't take too much time to adjust. Honestly. Uh, ah, here we go. Please. Wait, is this a vendor sour? Yes. Oh, I just wasn't tall. I wasn't high enough. Alright. Uh, so let me change this back. 
and then change the tendril color back to story. All right. And then manual save again. So, okay guys, that's really gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next one.